So our only goal in this video now is not again not to teach how to format but to show how to take a manuscript that is formatted improperly and format it properly. So first go to edit select all and then uh, file new. The reason why you want to make a new document and paste in it is if you watched oops if you watched part one then you have made a novel for your format style and format you have made novel I, I made this one novel too and you want that so if you haven't watched part one then this isn't going to work for you so go back to part one that way you have this setup this just saves a lot of time for not to go through it all over again then go to edit select all before I apply the novel to I want to go to uh, replace actually I don't have to select all to do this part and I want to get rid of the spacing between the spacing between my paragraphs. I, I have it set up this way for posting online. And uh, this is a novel I'm not pleased with. I'm going to end up rewriting it into two different novels. I try to do too much in one novel. Okay, so what you do here is you go to uh, Special and Paragraph Mark. So right now we have one paragraph mark, uh, or two paragraph marks, technically, between them. Even though it looks like one space, it's two paragraph marks. We want to replace it with one. So now we'll type one here. You can also just type that manually. Replace all. Takes a second. Click OK. And then I'm going to do the tab while everything's selected just by simply dragging the top arrow over to the left like that. That's the fast way to do it. Okay, so now it's all tabbed and everything is good. And then I can add the novel formatting by simply clicking on it after everything's selected and bam it's done so it automatically adds the double spacing gives me my proper font you know all that's all that's done so there's still a few things though that I I'm left that I have to do and I just want to make sure really quick yep see notice that's not um, selected like it shouldn't be and I got double spacing everything everything's good and I'm gonna go to uh, just to make sure that I have this here yep so these are unchecked make sure these are unchecked because if these aren't unchecked then when you try to do this replace all it's not going to work um, so if you didn't follow part one then those probably are not unchecked so I have them unchecked because it's in my novel to formatting thing I saved alright next thing we're going to do is we need to change our quotation marks so I'm going to go down to find a quotation mark notice they're all slanted that's usually how they're going to be because that's default it's actually really easy to change though I'm simply going to highlight it like this. Make sure only, I can, maybe I can go up to 150% where you can see this. Make sure that only it's highlighted. Then go to Edit and Replace. Notice it automatically puts it there so you don't have to touch the top one. Just this one. Now um, type a regular quotation mark here. And because we have unchecked the slanted, this will be a normal quotation mark now, not a slanted one. And so it's going to replace all of the slanted quotations with straight quotations. So that's what editors want. So bam, that's done. While I'm at it, I could uh, highlight a highlight a single quote mark or apostrophe like here, and I can change those up and down. I don't think it's mandatory they have to do that. Matter of fact, I don't even know if they I don't even know if there is a straight one. So never mind. Okay, so the next thing I want to do that's really important is your m dashes. So go to replace all. And the top one, we're going to put uh, M dash, not N, but M, by going to Special tab there. You can also just type that manually. And then here, we're going to type the double hyphen, replace all. 41 replacements, because I don't use them that often. And I'm going to show you what it looks like by going to Find, and I'll type in the uh, double hyphen. So that's what, that's what it should look like double hyphens. This is what editors want to read. They don't want the M dash there. Okay, because we're using career font, and, and really uh, this is the standard, so use career font unless it says to use, unless the publisher says to use something else like Times New Roman or Arial or something. Uh, if, if it doesn't state, then use career. Oh, did I call it career again? Courier. Why do I keep doing that? Then use the courier font. Since we have the courier font, we might as well do another standard, and that is, after all, ending punctuation, we want a period. Not after quotation marks, though. Just after, uh, like, in other words, if this ended with a period, 
then um, you know you would just have a single quotation I mean a single space between here and here not a double space a double space would only go after ending like here okay so this is easy to fix we'll go to replace and I'm gonna make sure everything here is deleted so type a uh, period and then a single space that's what we have now type a period again and then type two spaces so hit the spacebar twice now that's important hit replace all now I'm going to do it for the two other ending or the three other ending uh, points uh, we just repeat this process by doing a exclamation point and space and then exclamation point in two spaces and just do that for you know all the major ones. See, I, I hardly ever use those. You don't you really don't want to. If you're using a lot of exclamation points, you know you may you want to check see how many you have. If you have like a hundred in your novel, probably too many. Uh, periods do the job in you know description and stuff. Context, okay. Question mark. Do the same thing. Okay, what's going on? There we go. And uh, last but not least, the colon. But I already know I don't use the colon for sentences and novels. But I'm gonna. It's gonna still replace some only because I set this up to have a colon after the chapters, like here, like this. But that's not proper. So, but I wanted to end proper format for I can properly format it. Notice I went from like 187 pages to 287 pages, and then I now I have the proper. Um, Oh, there's one other thing I need to do because I, I'm not sure if it does this. I don't think it does, so we'll go to page setup. This I think you have to do every single time if you have an older thing. Now, if you once you set this to default, remember these should all be one. Once you set this to default, though, it, it stays for any other new file you open. But for older files, it's going to keep the older thing, and so you have to go and change that manually. Okay, so notice, see how that changes my page number drastically? Okay. I'll wait till that's uh, finished and we'll see what the page number is. But what, what you do, I think it's like, I think it's going to be like 2 something, 280. What is it going to be? I'm going to save this as um, this one that I had before. Let's see here. Okay, so 273 is going to be the amount with actual words on it, it looks like. You can see all these other pages, they don't have any words on them. I can just delete those. Come on. Okay, so anyway, then you go to the 274 in your calculator to get the approximate word count and times it by 250, average word for page on this format. So 68,500, so I'll just call it 68,000, round down, or you can round up, doesn't really matter. Uh, that's perfect for a young adult novel, that's what this is. Young adult novels start anywhere from like 35,000 words up to like 100,000, but Typically they're they're shorter, so 60,000 words is actually pretty good for a young adult novel, especially if it's going to be your first time. But you want to check, uh, you know, what uh, what they're what they're asking for. Okay, so that pretty much covers everything. It's all it's all ready to rock and roll. I have 25 lines per page now, and approximately 250 words. So if I were to go and count the amount of lines per page, I'm going to have 25. So this is proper formatting. I even have the double spacing and everything so uh, see how fast it was? It's really easy once you know how to do those little tricks. Then all I had to do is you know format this properly you know putting my title in the center and all that. But one thing I wanted to show you real quick, hold on. After I center the, center the title for my cover I want to go to uh, insert and uh, break and page break. So this breaks the page and it starts automatically on the next page. Then I'm going to center uh, this as well. And then after each chapter finishes, you want to do a page break. That way uh, it starts on the next. You don't lose your formatting. Okay, so I hope you en enjoy these two-part video series and leave comments. And uh, let me know what you want to see next. Thanks.